To understand what is supervisory convergence, you need to understand what is supervision and the role of national supervisory authorities. National supervisory authorities need to guarantee the protection of policyholders and beneficiaries. To do so, they need to supervise undertakings and make sure that they are safe and sound to be able to comply with their obligations. So when we talk about supervisory convergence, it needs to be about guaranteeing the same level of protection of policyholders across all jurisdictions, regardless if your undertaking is in one country or the other. Why is supervisory convergence important? Well, it's important to increase the functioning of the internal market, in particular to have a high, effective and consistent level of supervision. AOPA should protect public values such as the financial stability, the transparency of the markets, the transparency of the financial products and, of course, the protection of policyholders and beneficiaries. We should prevent supervisory arbitrage, guarantee a level playing field and strengthen the coordination among supervisors and this should eventually benefit the economy, the insurance market and the consumers. This is why AOPA is targeting the areas where the fairness of the market can be affected, where we don't have a level playing field and where supervisory arbitrage can arise. Our priorities on supervisory convergence for the next years will be to further develop the concept on, of common supervisory culture. We have developed last year a booklet on common supervisory culture where we have identified the key characteristics of high quality and effective supervision. Our goal for the next months is actually to further develop these concepts and to be able to explain to national supervisory authorities how they can be implemented. There are areas of the supervisory convergence where we need to work on an ongoing basis. Areas like supervision of internal models or areas like supervision of insurance groups need always to be in our minds. Of course, we need to also consider the real risks to the internal market and the real risks to the level playing field that we already identified. And on this area, we'll definitely do some work on the calculation of technical provisions and also address some of the business models that are being used in cross-border business. We should not forget about the emerging risks to the insurance market and we need to work on supervisory convergence from the beginning on these areas. And this is why we will work on data and IT risks, which include cyber risks, cyber security and in general all areas of the insure tech. And of course we need to continue to monitor the Brexit and the impact and the consequences of the Brexit in the insurance market and on all consumers. In a nutshell, supervisory convergence should aim to avoid supervisory arbitrage and guarantee the same level of protections of policyholders and beneficiaries in all Europe.